This is our hub canvas connection. Here are 12 volt, and then it's ground, and then can high and can low. On the MCP2515 board, I need to have this jumper on and add additional 120 ohm resistors here. And when you measure the resistance from here to here, it will become 60 ohm. In the software, we need to take a look at the configuration. And this line is telling me that the RF algorithm is 298. And it matches the 298 here. This algorithm matches this particular RF hub. The other RF hub is using different algorithm. And we will talk about the algorithm later. Here I'm, here I'm going to talk power on the USB. And then I'm going to power on the RF hub. Within one second, I need to click this button and it will tell me it detects the flash. Now this RF hub is 384 kilobyte. Uh, the reason it's detected 512 is because I have one big configuration for P flash and it's unified for all the RF hubs. So this one does not have the external EEPROM. We need to read the internal EEPROM, save it, and then read the 384 kilobyte. And this will read the 128 kilobyte first, and then read uh, the 256 kilobyte. So it will save two blocks of data. And this RF hub is properly backed up. Now, if I do want to program it, I can use this button and say I want to load the files. Since I have internal EEPROM, and then I can load the uh, external EEPROM file, which I don't have. I can cancel here. And then I need to look at the 128 kilobyte first for the flash. And I can open it. And then load the second part, which is 256 kilobyte. Let me power off and power on. Within one second, connect. Now I'm going to write the internal EEPROM and I'm going to write 384 kilobyte of flash. Yes. Compared to the BDM method, the canvas method for the RF hub is even faster than the BDM method. So we have finished 128 kilobyte of flash uh, programming and we do verify it. So now we program the 256 kilobyte of flash. And program passed. Now we do verification. This RF hub is properly programmed. This is the second RF hub. It has 512 kilobyte of flash as well as its external as well as it has external EEPROM. And the canvas connection is the same as the other one. By default, currently configuration as using the algorithm as 298. Let's try it. It will tell me the security error, which I need to select different constant or different algorithm. I know this algorithm is 295, so I'm going to select 295 here. And then I power on the RF hub. Uh, wait a little bit longer. So let's connect. So I can check here to see the trying, trying. and it found the algorithm. So sometimes when it says check connection, you need to be patient and we found it. So now I know this one has internal EEPROM. Let's read it. And it has external EEPROM, so read it. And this one has 512 kilobyte of flash. So take a look at the external EEPROM and internal EEPROM. 
and then let's take a look at 512 kilobyte of flash. So in order to program it, I can load the files. Say I'm going to load the uh, internal EEPROM here and load external EEPROM here. And when load the flash, I'm going to load 512 kilobyte and cancel the last one. So let's power cycle again and let's power cycle it. And then we let's get, get into the debugger on. And we do get it. So now I'm going to write the internal EEPROM. And I'm going to write the external EEPROM. And now I'm going to write the 512 kilobyte of flash. Yes. So this RF Hub is properly programmed. Now let's say I purchased an RF Hub and I do not know which algorithm to use. Uh, how can I uh, how can I find the the proper algorithm? One way is uh, exit here and you can select the pull down menu from here. This is about uh, thirty of them, so you can try each one of them. Let's say I power on and and try it. You can you can turn this on uh, if you want. So this one failed, and then you power cycle again, and click again. So this one is trying, trying. Don't stop it here yet. It will tell you failed. So it's it's say failed. Uh, this is one method and it will take some time um, if you do not have the setup. I'm going to show you a setup that I can scan the, uh, the algorithm. Here is the setup for scanning the algorithm. So I add this module. This one module has 3.3 volt here and it has a relay. So the relay is to control the 12 volt. The ground pin of the power is connected to the RF hub ground. The 12 volt from here goes to this relay first, and the, the output of relay goes to here. So on this side, we have a 3.3 volt and the ground from the Uding T, and this red pin go to this uh, V in. So using this red pin, so we can control the power on uh, 12 volt to the RF hub. So from the website of usbjet.com, there is a page called RF hub algorithm scan setup. So here is the uh, pinout for this uh, connector. Now here is the setup, and we have the 3.3 volt IO7, which is the, the red pin of this Uning T, and then the ground pin. Now ground pin also goes to this MCP25 pin board. So the power supply has 12 volt go to this common here, and the, this pin goes to uh, RF hub. So let's see how the, this works in the software. So let's first start the uh, Uning NT and 12 power, give, give the power. Now the power only goes to here, it does not go here yet. And we need to exit this uh, script and uh, I need to type a scan so I can type a scan algorithm and you can hear a click every time a click is used it will give the uh, power to, to the RF hub and then try the first algorithm and later on so if you do not want to see this output you can uncheck this box 
and you can see try the second one c6 and this is third one uh, i'm going to pause here and wait until this algorithm is being found we're almost close to the 295 you can see the trying the algorithm So it says found the algorithm 295. So we know this RF hub can use the scan method to find the RF, uh, the algorithm. Uh, after you scan it, if you want to next time use the same algorithm again, either you can scroll down here to find it, or you can go to the configuration folder and find this file of this hub and you can open it in here and modify this value, say to 295.